In this video, I'm gonna show you how to deck your John boat with aluminum sheeting. We're gonna talk about what materials you're gonna use, how to make a template, and what thickness this aluminum sheeting is. So stay tuned. Side open, nine gallons of Red Bull. <laughs> to start off, I want you guys to notice that the lids are riveted to the frame with countersink rivets. That is how you attach these lids to the framing. Nate is cutting out a template right now from a poster board, which I bought a pack of this. I think it came in like six or eight sheets of it. Uh, in one pack at Walmart. This stuff is much easier to use to make a template than just regular cardboard. It's not as thick. Uh, it's still pretty cheap and it makes a cleaner traceable line when it's all said and done. So. Once the template's made, we transfer that over to our 090 aluminum sheeting. Yes, they were. They were perfect to me. I love them. No, we're gonna need that back. Okay. Marker. Back. The reason we use 090 aluminum sheeting is because that's the same material that the track system is made from. So if you attach the lid to the framing and then the aluminum sheeting 0.090 in all the other areas that you need to deck, then you're gonna have a completely flat deck. There will not be a high spot or a low spot. It's all gonna be flush. The tool that Mike is using to cut out our template from the aluminum sheeting are called shears. We purchased those uh, this same day at Harbor Freight for between $60 to $80, I think. We can't really afford the cordless one from uh, Milwaukee at the moment, but this thing came in very, very handy because we were nervous about it being able to cut that thick of aluminum, which it ended up doing with no problem. But if you were to go any thicker with the aluminum sheeting, it probably wouldn't have worked as well. So 090 is about as thick as you can go with these shears uh, to get that clean cut. Now we're off. I'm up good. Here. We're up. Dang it. And back here for sure. Idiot. And right here. No. Surgical with that shit. Remember like Denzel washed it in train day? I'm surgical with this. Remember when we said that? First one. Well, for surgical, why don't it fit? I don't know. You're lying off here. Something is wrong. Something is not right. No, because it fit different before. Didn't it? I mean, yeah, I can understand why this so. is off right here. I'm under that rivet. Right, we're all the way, it's touching here. Damn, we f***ed it up twice. Yeah, we're good here Notice. now, all the way to right, right here. here. If it doesn't line up now, I crit. I quit life. Good spikes of death. No fun. Just beat the shit in with me. There it is, it's in. Alright, look, see this? Up. Axe murderer. Here, touch that. Touch it. 
Now get away from me! <laughs> We attached all this aluminum sheeting down with countersink rivets so that none of the rivet heads will show in the final product. Thank you again to Mike Lopez and Nate. We always have a good time when we get together and do a build and uh, it's always nice having a little bit of extra help. So thank you again guys for coming out. And this is what the boat looks like before we install the Hydro Turf, which is gonna be the next video. So hit that subscribe button Leave a comment in the comment section down below and like this video if you enjoyed it. I appreciate you guys watching and we will see you in the next video.